What's up guys, Justin here from TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another rendering program overview for you. So one of the things I want to do on this channel is I want to give you an idea of what's out there from a rendering standpoint. So what your different options are, what the different softwares are. So today I wanted to give an introduction to a real-time rendering program that uh, allows you to basically have a one-click rendering within SketchUp. So in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to InScape 3D. So before I get started, model credit for this model is is the Beach House by SZ Kristoff. And you can download this model from the 3D Warehouse. And so one of the things I'm gonna do more of is doing more introductions to different rendering programs. If there's a rendering program that you'd like to see kind of an overview of, leave a comment below and let me know. Um, because I really wanna do kind of a, I, I wanna cover a little bit of everything on this channel to give you an idea of what's out there and what your options are. So InScape, unlike programs like V-Ray, is what's known as a real-time rendering program. And what this means is instead of having long render times, basically you can just just click play and this will just create a real-time walkthrough of your model as you go. So this is actually being rendered in real time as I fly my camera through. And so one of the things that makes InScape so powerful is how simple it is. And so as you can see, all I did is I downloaded this model and I just clicked the play button and I have a real time rendering of this building. And you can see how a lot of the materials are already mapped and the shadow settings are already set up. So you're able to just come in and get a view and a visualization of what your building's gonna look like really quickly. And so just being able to generate something like this without having to make any changes to your settings is very helpful. The way InScape handles materials is very unique. Basically what it does is it searches your material names for different keywords. So in this case, for the water material, it's gonna look for the keyword water and it's gonna automatically apply and map different properties to your materials based on those names. So in this case, the water material is, the water look is automatically being applied to this water material based on the fact that the word water is in the description. So most of your materials will get mapped automatically. So in addition, changes made to these materials will be real time. So let's say for example, that I was to come in and I wanted to adjust the color of the handrails, the glass handrails, you can see how these update in real time as I update them in my SketchUp model. So this is really good for looking at different options and other things like that. In addition, InScape also now has a material editor built in. So you can come in and you can adjust different materials with things like opacity, and other settings within that material editor. You can apply bump maps, adjust transparencies, and make other changes within your models really quickly using the materials editor. So settings are really easy to manage and uh, they're far less complex than in a lot of other programs. So you can quickly go in and adjust things like brightness. You can adjust your rendering quality. You can adjust your field of view to adjust what you can see within your camera view, as well as things like your colors and other things like lens flare and vignette, that sort of thing as well. So, and all of these update in real time within your model, allowing you to quickly make different decisions and look at different options within your rendering without having to wait for a bunch of test renders to render. So the built-in environment settings are very easy to use. So it's very easy, for example, to adjust the time of day just by holding the shift key and then clicking and dragging your right mouse button. So you can see how you can adjust those settings very quickly. In addition, you can adjust things like the atmosphere and the clouds by simply dragging different sliders and moving them around within your model. So several preset horizon options are included within InScape, as well as having the ability to load a custom HDRI file in the background. So another cool setting within InScape is the ability to render grass. So any material within your model that has the word grass in it, if you select the option for grass rendering, InScape will automatically render grass in those locations, allowing you to create realistic grass without having to come in and mess with proxies or anything like that. And one of the things I will note about this is this is really fast. Like I have not had any problems with actually loading and running any of this. Um, I don't think I've ever had a speed issue even before I upgraded PCs running within InScape. I know there are some minimum system requirements, but this all seems to run really lightweight even when I use things like emissive materials. InScape also includes the ability to add artificial lights within your models, allowing you to quickly add things like point lights and spotlights in order to create 
interior artificially lit renderings. InScape also supports proxy models, allowing you to import high poly things like trees into your renderings without actually having to import all the geometry into your model to slow it down. Export options include the ability to export still images, animation files, as well as panorama files, as well as the ability to view your models in virtual reality. So if you're looking for more information about InScape, you can get more info as well as a 14-day free trial at InScape3D.com. So one of the things I like about InScape is of all the programs I've tried so far, it's by far the easiest. I mean, you literally just click and your rendering is created and you can just fly around your model. You don't have to mess with a lot of settings, though you definitely can to get great results. So I would say for from an ease of use standpoint, InScape is probably the easiest rendering program that I've used. But leave a, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about InScape, what you think about real-time rendering versus static rendering. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.